Okay, guys, there's a hair streak right here. This male. And, but Lorenzo says he sees a green hair streak. Where do you see it, buddy? Okay, I got, I missed one. Oh no, that's not a full. That's a, that's a metal mark moth right there. All right, I think I actually have two. Hey guys, David Fine here from Keys Moths. We are going on a very exciting adventure. Just yesterday, I received a tip from one of our subscribers, um, Cool Critters, by the way. His name is Michael Green. Cool little channel, smaller channel, but he's growing. Check out his channel. But he made a lifetime discovery for himself. And uh, he let me know in this park in Broward County, he saw probably the rarest butterfly in the United States. And that is not an exaggeration. I've got over a thousand man hours in the field looking for the amethyst hair streak, guys. It is a tiny butterfly about this big, tropical butterfly, but it is spectacular. And probably out of a thousand man hours in the field, I've, I've found three of them. And I have one in my collection, one male, but I've yet to ever document the life cycle. In fact, we don't even know what the actual host plan is of this butterfly. So we're gonna go and try and find out what the deal is with this butterfly in this park. If I can document the life cycle, if I can find a female and get an egg or two, we're gonna help show you what the life cycle is of this butterfly. We've heard that they eat buttonwood and we've heard that they eat Albezia lebic, the lady's tongue tree, which is an exotic tree. Uh, but buttonwood is something that we, it lives everywhere in South Florida, but for whatever reason, the Mycetes hair streak is super rare, but it, it's a female for sure. Wings were open. Uh, it was on a sea grape. Um, he was. It was uncertain whether or not the female was laying eggs or if it was just resting there. To me, it looks like it was just resting there, but the female specimen was very fresh. Uh, looks like it has a lot of life left in it. So we're hoping that we can come back down here, see if we can find it. We've got Cordia glabrosa here. There's all these little flies. Cordia glabrosa is a great plant for hair streaks. This is the kind of thing I was hoping to find to see if there are any blossoms on this plant. It would be a great place to look for my CDs. So I've actually seen my CDs hair streaks on this plant before. Um, there's a moth stuck in a uh, spider's web. There's a Atala female hanging out on the Cordia glabrosa plant. Toxic butterfly, but it is a beauty. All right, here's the sea grape. This has got to be the one she's talk he was talking about. What'd you find? Come here, where are you? Okay. Watch your shadows too, because if your shadow touches, shadow touches where it is, they're gone. It flies. No. Oh, I see. It's a hair streak, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's. I think it's the wrong species, though. Yeah, this is a full of this hair streak. See one? Now guys, there's a fulvus hair streak. Electrostrymon and Julia. Holy cow. That's the biggest fly I've ever seen. Got a, a metallic green wasp. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. This is definitely, definitely the place. Come on, Mercedes. Okay, guys, there's a hair streak right here. 
Oh, wrong species. That is a fulvous hair streak, guys. Uh, female, which is a cool find, actually. If I was smart, I would try and get eggs from her. Fulvous hair streak. Female. I could try and get eggs from him, her rather, and raise that one. That would be cool. Cool life cycle right there, guys. Fulvous hair streak, South Florida tropical beauty. Inside of this bug, the wings are copper in color. Really cool. Oh, there's one, there's one. There's where, 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 where? Oh, that's not, it doesn't look like they write hair streak, but I see hair streak. Oh, look, 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 look. Oh, oh. it's another one, uh, fulvous. Fulvous hair streak, okay. So that's, that's, the third fulvous hair streak we've seen on this particular particular um, little area of the sea grape right here, guys. There's, um, now if you look up, I might bring my extension net tomorrow. There are blooms on, on the sea grape way up high and they, butterflies absolutely love sea grape blooms. So, uh, we're gonna have to take a close look. All right, uh, Lorenzo, good job, buddy. Let's keep looking. I think I found it. Uh, hold, hold. Too, it seriously? Yes. All right, guys. So, right here is another full of hair streak. I cannot get my phone to cooperate, but Lorenzo says he sees a green hair streak. Where do you see it, buddy? You see it? Yeah, it's still right there. Where? Is it on sea grape or is it on that other other plant? Oh, it's on that other plant. Where? It's like, it's like on the very edge, left edge. Huh. Oh, there's another male fulvous hair streak. For some reason, the hair streaks really love chilling on the sea grape. But that is not what we're looking for, guys. Come on. Let's see if I can get something to fly up here. Nothing. Another hair streak. Okay, guys. There's another another lysenid. That is the Serranus blue. Another little tiny lysenid. Common, common butterfly, but not Chlorostrymon mycetes. Okay. I keep looking, guys. Keep looking on. I've got a uh, Urema diara, little dainty sulfur. And they landed. I didn't even see where they landed. Come on, man. Where are the hair streaks? Where are the hair streaks? Where are the hair streaks? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Some strangler fig. It's got some chew marks on it. I always check that out whenever I see it. Nope. Nada. No butterflies. No butterflies. All right. I'm gonna go check this water's edge out here. I see some. I see some more sea grape over here. Now, I think the trick would be if I could find some good blooms, some good, some good sea grape blossoms. Find one in bloom, full bloom. That would be stellar. It's a strangler fig with all these little young little shoots here. It's usually a good place to look for ruddy dagger wing caterpillars.
But again, I want that Mercedes hair streak. Okay, we got a checkered skipper. Carpet flower and bacopa. There's two host plants for the white peacock. I do not see any white peacocks. I don't know why. I don't see any white peacocks. There should be everywhere. Um, some pond apple. There's another sea grape. It's got seeds. That's why I call them sea grape, guys. You got these big seeds that look like grapes. I understand they're actually edible. But I don't care. I want my hair straight. Come on, there's some Bidens. That'd be great. All right, guys, here's a butterfly. Let's see the ruddy dagger wing. You can see the shadow of the male ruddy dagger, ruddy dagger wing. You know, let's see if it chases my red net handle. Oh, that's a female. That's yeah, a female. If it's not chasing this red net handle, that means it's a female. She's probably laying eggs. Right there. Female ruddy dagger wing. Oh, when they close those wings, man, it looks like. There, there we go. Yep. Okay, well, again. Not looking for ruddy dagger wings. I want hair streaks. Hair streaks, hair streaks. All right, guys. There is a female fulvous hair streak right here. And even though it's not the species I'm after, I am going to try and get eggs from her. I've got our female fulvus. I'm gonna go put her in a cup and I'm gonna show you guys how to get. There's another one. Is that a female too? Okay, two female fulvus hair streaks. I'm gonna get them both. Okay, I got, I missed one. Oh no, that's not a fulvus hair streak. That's a, that's a metal mark moth right there. All right, I think I actually have two female fulvous hair streaks in my net guys i'm going to get them in a cup and i'm going to show you guys how to breed uh hair streaks not the easiest thing in the world because they are tiny uh at least we'll make something out of this trip okay let's see all right so here's what we're gonna do um all right, so first thing, locate. This is why, guys, this is why I use a black net bag because it's really easy to see through a black net bag. And let's see, I'm gonna put my cup inside. Okay, I've got one hair streak. Okay, guys, I've got one hair streak in the cup. There's plenty of room in there for them to fly around. I actually just found the second hair streak in my net. So I'm gonna try to actually, see so what you do, if you don't want your insects to fly up out of the cup, you put it upside down because they always instinctively fly up. So now if I take the lid off of this cup, the butterfly flies down, I'm sorry, it flies up instinctively. And that will allow me to come here. Now I've got both butterflies in the cup. Now I'm gonna put the phone down for a second. Yikes. All right, guys, I have got both of my female fulvous hair streaks. This is Electrostrymon and Julia. They are both females. 
And I've got them both in one cup. And guys, by the way, if you ever want to open your cup without your butterflies flying out, you just kind of turn it upside down, bring it into the light, and hair streaks always instinctively fly up to the light. So then you can open this lid and put something inside if you want to, but I just wanted to show you that. But guys, what I always do, um, I don't have the host plant with me. So what I do is I bring a little lunch cooler and I put a little ice pack in it. And then I'll put these this cup inside of this little Tupperware container inside of this lunch bag because what it, what it does, it does two things. It keeps them in the dark so they're not flapping around like crazy and it's cold enough it's not going to hurt them but it's cold enough to keep them chill and kind of calm down until i get them home i'll put them in host plant and we'll be ready to go and I'll hopefully i'll get some eggs from the fold of hair streaks i'm not sure if they're going to lay or not because they are older uh specimens so we'll see if they have any eggs left to give me and we'll see and i'll see if i can get a couple eggs and i'll let them go so all right let's go see if we can find a my CD's hair streak real quick. All right, guys. So right here, I've got a male Electrostrymon and Julia specimen here. And the males, guys, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous male specimen right here. I cannot get my phone to focus. So here's what I'm gonna do. I haven't collected one of these and mounted them in a long time, so I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna harvest this male. Guys, I'm sweating like a pig. It's black shirt, South Florida. Even though it's 5:30 in the afternoon, it is hot. What's that? I said you're crazy. Why am I crazy? I don't know. My daughter thinks I'm crazy. Why am I crazy, Sophie? Because I'm your dad? Because you gave birth to her. What? Be, you, is it that you make me crazy? Are you saying that you make me crazy? What'd you, what'd you do? All right, I'm going to go look. Hi, Aria. I can't get... Oh, my gosh. How embarrassing. Oh! How... Ow, hey, hey, ow! Guys, caught in 4K. My daughter just beat me with a bat. I'm the crazy one though. <laughs> exactly. You almost got you almost got whacked by a butterfly net. There's a white peacock. Very common butterfly on the water's edge, South Florida. We're by this little dirty pond here. Um, my truck's right there. The kids have called it quits officially. Um, they can't handle the South Florida heat apparently but I am still here looking while they're sitting in the air conditioning in my truck. So I'm still gonna see if I can find anything that resembles a hair streak. I wonder what these little wasps are. They're like bright, bright iridescent green. They're so cool. All right, um, I want bright iridescent green hair streaks, not wasps. Okay. All right, so guys, hope you enjoyed the video. No. My CDs, no amethyst hair streaks, but we've got two females of the um, uh, Electrostrymon and Julia, the fulvus hair streak, and we're gonna try and get eggs from those and see if we can document the life cycle. Um, also, we've got a male fulvus hair streak, which we're gonna mount for you. Mounting a hair streak is pretty tough. So we're gonna do those videos soon. Stay tuned, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. We are gonna to continue to show you all the rare beauties down here in South Florida. And uh, guys, thanks for watching. Till next time, let's get out there and enjoy South Florida. Ciao.